All right, so earlier today, Congress grilled Nellie Orr. Now, she is the Fusion GPS contractor who's working on the phony dossier, also married to the twice-demoted DOJ official Bruce Orr. Remember, Bruce Orr became the conduit for Christopher Steele, and, oh, they wanted to funnel phony information to the special counsel, Robert Mueller. And Nellie helped put together the anti-Trump dossier filled with Russian lies, propaganda, misinformation used in the campaign, used to secure FISA warrants. And Fox News has learned that Nellie Orr, well, took the spousal privilege. House Freedom Caucus Chairman Mark Meadows, he was in that meeting. He joins us now along with Fox News contributors. Sarah Carter, investigative reporter, also investigative reporter from The Hill, John Solomon. Thank you all for being with us. Uh, spousal privilege. Well, at least she showed up because Glenn Simpson wouldn't show up. Rod Rosenstein, I hear, is now rescheduled for the 24th. Congressman, tell us uh, what you can tell us as it relates to this. Well, obviously, the details of that particular interview are not something that we're sharing publicly, but, but your lead-in is exactly right. Uh, we, we were trying to get to the connection between Fusion GPS and Glenn Simpson, uh, the ones who hired Christopher Steele and others to do the dossier. And ultimately, the go-between, uh, which was, in our opinion, at times, Nellie Orr to Bruce Orr at DOJ and then to the FBI. And so a lot of the, the communication, uh, she was actually a cooperative witness, but when it got down to the real details, she either didn't recall or they invoked a, a privilege that would uh, say that the intimate conversations between a husband and wife uh, could not be divulged and and uh, and certainly claim that privilege. So I don't uh, know that okay. we learned a well, whole it was lot. The new. dossier she worked on that Clinton paid for that was used to well propagandize the American people with lies before the election and then used later as a weapon to try and bring the president down. And of course that was all part of the media leak strategy, the insurance policy to get the special counsel appointed. Sarah Carter, let me let me go to you. You look at. They are being uncooperative, not allowing people like, like our friend Mark Meadows here to do his job, which is oversight. They keep refusing to turn over documents. They lie in the name of national security, and they've been proven to lie. But when you get to the bottom of it all, it really, a lot is coming down to Bruce and Nellie Orr. She creates the dossier. He's spreading the narrative of the dossier. And we even have information proving that Christopher Steele's telling Bruce Orr to get it to his friends over at the special counsel, but none of it's verified. Well, absolutely, Sean. I mean, think about this. So you have Nellie Orr delivering information to her husband that he is holding on to. He is delivering that information to the FBI, apparently. And he's also being used as a back door to deliver information for Christopher Steele to the FBI after the FBI fires and basically dismisses Christopher Steele as a confidential informant when they were gathering information because he was leaking to the media. So how can Congress get to the bottom of any of this if Nellie Orr is refusing to talk about the conversations she had with her husband. These are not private conversations between a husband and wife. These are conversations between an employee of Fusion GPS and an official from the Department of Justice. And Congress should continue to demand answers from her, just as they did from James Baker. And maybe the person to ask about a lot of these questions is going to be Rod Rosenstein next Wednesday. I mean, he really has to answer these questions. He gave an interview to the Wall Street Journal, but then refused to talk to Congressman Meadows and other amazing. lawmakers. Yeah, yeah, it's incredible. It's like, well, I could talk to the media, but I don't want to talk to you. Yeah. Uh, and and, and I'll, I'll let you weigh in on this, John Solomon, but also you had a big breaking story yesterday that all, uh, there's, you, you were able to discover all these junkets yeah. that DOJ, FBI guys were taking from special interests and it seems one of the biggest beneficiaries, even during his time working for Mueller, if my timeline is correct, would be Robert Mueller's pit bull, Andrew Weissman. Yeah, of course, he's trips. the guy that was overturned 9-0 in the Supreme Court, lost tens of thousands of jobs at Enron Accounting, put four innocent people in jail for a year, overturned by the Fifth Circuit. Really? He's taken junkets paid for by? 
Yep, uh, the ABA and, and uh, many of these different interests that had uh, cases pending before the United States government and the Justice Department. You had FBI agents at, uh, going out to a trip when Microsoft, when Microsoft's fighting it out in the courts with the Justice Department. It was a pretty stark picture of, of a Justice Department that seems to be on the take with special interest, and nobody really knew about it. These reports were yeah. hidden, and I think it's an important thing. I was thinking as I was listening to Congressman Meadows and Sarah talk about what we learned today and yesterday, uh, if the Beatles were around today, I think they would have revamped their song, and it would have been, we've got a ticket to hide. Everything the <laughs> FBI and the DOJ is doing is hiding from the American public the truth of what went on in this Russia investigation and somewhere that buck has to stop and I think it starts Back. next week with Rod Rosenstein. Well let me go back to Mark Meadows and Rod Rosenstein. Why aren't you going to be in the room and is he going to be under oath as per usual standard practice and it, will it be recorded as per usual standard practice? Well I think and that's why are part you there? I heard you may not be in the room. Well, right now, the deal that's being negotiated right now would exclude a number of us that have been there. So here's the problem I have with that. One, that's not what our leadership had committed to Jim Jordan and I that they would do. But the bigger problem is, why should Rod Rosenstein get a different standard than everybody else? He wants to go into a classified setting. He wants to go into a secret room so that nobody can hear his testimony on a transcribed interview. I think that we need to continue to make sure that he comes. I think we ought to compel him to come. And if he won't come voluntarily, the way that every other witness has, you know, the time for a subpoena is now. I couldn't well, agree we more. We need to release the FISA, unclass, declassify those, unredacted, the gang of eight information, the 302s. I hope they're coming. The president said they will be. Do, do we all agree on that? I agree. I do. I agree. Yeah. Mm. Oh, John, all right. Oh, yep. Thank I'm you in. all.